Dave Host Mac T back and I have a little follow-up on the old Herbie project. Uh yeah, uh did some oil changes, got a few miles under Herbie's belt, so to speak, and I thought I'd catch you up on uh what we're doing with the PTU. That's right, remember we put a brand new PTU in there. So uh, I did an original video, you're gonna find it up here. I'll put a link in there so you can see the uh, PTU, what condition it was in. But let's just say that uh, it's when we did the initial test, uh, it had 5,967 <laughs> parts per million aluminum in it. And I tore that uh, thing apart and you guys can see what kind of damage it was in. But uh, as things go, uh, we did another uh, gear lube change. And uh, we did that about uh, July 23rd. Okay, this is shortly after. I'd only put about 3,000 miles on it as a break-in. And uh, so in July we changed it. at had 3,373 miles. We were using uh, the uh, Gear Lube 75W140. Okay, that's what we put into it. I think it was like a Valvoline or something or a Motorcraft, whatever it was. Uh, we put that in it as a break-in because that's what we had. So we uh, started it out with that. And uh, we got the oil test results back, you know, in July. I got those back. And if you want to follow along here, I'll I'll put it right you now, right over here. Yeah, it'll be right over here. Uh, so you can see and follow along. I'll put uh, little clips in there so you can see. But the aluminum was at 15 parts per million. And the universal average for aluminum is 166 parts per million. So, hey, that brand new one's doing really good. Chromium was 2 parts per million, which uh, universal average is 3. And then uh, the iron was 297. And the universal average was uh, 364. So, hey, it's working out good. Copper was 1. Universal average is 16. So this brand new one. PTU that is in Herbie is uh, showing quite impressive numbers at this point. Our lead was two, the tin was two, the molybdenum uh, was uh, three, uh, nickel was zero, manganese was uh, four, and silver and titanium were all zero, potassium was four, uh, boron was at 70, silicon was at 225. Which is a little bit higher than the, uh, you know, as they say, the uh, universal average. But that's not, to, you know, it's a break-in, remember? There's stuff that has to get out of there. And then they had the sodium was at 11. And a lot of times the sodium could be in the gear loop. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Calcium was at 13. The magnesium was at 2. The phosphorus was 1100 and 11. 1,145 parts per million, which is above the universal average of 875 for gear loops. The zinc was at 19, universal average for that was 13, and then of course the barium was at 1, and the universal average is 1. Uh, the viscosity came in at 113.7 at 210 degrees Fahrenheit for the SUS viscosity. CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius was 23.53. Uh, flash point was 405 degrees. Insolubles was 0 0.4. And uh, the tan was at 2.9. Not bad overall. It's a pretty good test. Well, then we move on to our December 8th change. Uh, we pulled that 75W140 out at almost 10,000 miles. 9,829 miles. Yes, a good long run on uh, Herbie for this this run and you will not believe what happened the aluminum dropped down from 15 to 7 keep in mind we did three times as many miles as we did before the uh, chromium dropped down to one and the previous one was like two uh, the iron dropped to 142 from the previous one of 297 and then the uh, copper dropped to zero the lead dropped to zero the tin stayed at two for both tests the molybdenum stayed at three the nickel stayed at zero the manganese uh, dropped to one from the uh, previous four and then of course the uh, silver and titanium were all zero potassium 
for the test in December dropped to zero from the four it was previously. The boron uh, shot up to 56 vice the uh, uh, 70 that it was. The silicon was 225. Remember that well, it was 289 this time, and then of course uh, that went up, but. Uh, the sodium dropped down to 6 from 11 and uh, the calcium dropped from, from 13 down to 11 for that last test and the magnesium uh, actually went up for this uh, last test from the two that it was and then the uh, phosphorus uh, had a lot more phosphorus in it is 1902 for the new last test and the previous was 1145 and the zinc was uh, previously 19 it dropped down to 9 and then the barium went from uh, 1 down to 0 now the viscosity SUS viscosity previously is 113.7 for the SUS viscosity in the December uh, test I just did was 121.7 and then the uh, CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius uh, was originally at 2353 for the first test and it went up to 25.35 uh, flash point changed from uh, previously at 405 to 395 and then uh, the insolubles dropped down to 0 0.2 from the 0 0.4 that it was and the tan jumped up to 5.7 so Hey, this PTU has got some really good numbers that's going on with it as it gets broke in. And I hope I can keep it getting better. But uh, just keep in mind that the next test will not be for uh, the Valvoline or, or the Motocraft 75140. But the next test I'll show you will be for the uh, Redline Lightweight Shockproof that we filled it up. And we're going to run that about another, uh, I don't know, three, four, five thousand miles. It depends on what we're going to do. I have since turned Herbie over, gave the keys to Mercy Girl. So Mercy Girl now has Herbie. She's, it's her baby. And uh, all I'm going to be is the maintenance guy. Uh, but uh, it's going to take her a while to get those miles on there. So don't, don't hold your breath for the next test here. Yeah, she just doesn't drive it that much. So anyway, that's where we're sitting for the uh, uh, viscosity testing and everything else for this PTU for Herbie. Keep in mind that this is a brand new, from the beginning, oil testing series for this PTU. I will keep following up as I go through the life cycle of this PTU so you guys can follow it as it goes up and down to the different types of gear lubes that we're using and what's going on and we'll get a good taste of what's working and what isn't working as far as the viscosities go types and brands and everything else so I hopefully y'all follow along on this to see what's going on and what is the best way to treat a brand new PTU and make it last a lot longer so hopefully we can find that out but uh, hey this is how the life cycle of Herbie's PTU is beginning and uh, I will post everything that I have into my MeWe files, that's right. I'll create a file called Herbie PTU, and you'll be able to take these oil reports and look at them and see what's going on and decide for yourself what you want to see. So the only way you're going to get that file is by going to my MeWe and then join in the group, and then you can pull those files up. And if I haven't mentioned it before, the MeWe group has an excellent file system compared to the other group that I was in the file system in MeWe makes them look horrible but uh, just so we know what our December test was I'll, I'll read what the oil report said uh, they say much like the engine they're referring to my last test on the engine because they they sort of figured out that I put a new engine in Herbie anyway Herbie's PT is looking a lot better now metals are lower across the board and the silicon looks good too there haven't been many oil changes yet, so there may be improvements to come over the next few oil changes if there's wear in left in the system. Hopefully that's the source of a bit of visible ferrous metal we found in the oil. If it is, wear in. We'll just look for it to clear up as the oil's changed out. The tan red is 5.7. Check back after a similar 10,000 mile run just to keep tabs on the visible metal. Now. The visible metal may be 
Uh, remember they said that they had some uh, something in there? Uh, what was it they said? They had some ferrous metal that we found. Okay, ferrous, non-ferrous, you guys figure that out. But, uh, yeah, it's going to wear. So, keep in mind, it was brand new. Those gears have to mesh and everything else has to, has to go with that. So, uh, that's what they're stating they've seen in it. And uh, I think we're going to end up being in a pretty good shape with it. Because we are changing that gear loop fairly frequently. But I hope this gives you all some good information on uh, PTUs. If you're wondering, what does a brand new PTU look like on break-in? Vice an old one. And I can tell you, I got you know, if you want to watch the video on that, what an old one looks like, you then go up uh, you know, up here and, and click those links that I put for the for the cards and uh, you can see what's going on there because uh, yeah that one was pretty bad that we took out of Hermie so it was a good call to get rid of it uh, after I tore it apart but anyways Mac T and uh, remember my feet hit the floor today I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day too Band One always has some great music and Mercy Girl she's always doing something she has something to say and uh, her birthday is coming up that's right uh, Gosh, how old will she be? Oh, 20 years ago. Come January. Yeah, middle of January. She turns 20 years old. No longer that little itty bitty baby I was holding anymore. Anyway, they all grow up. And it's been fun watching her. Anyway, have a great day. And maybe there will be some follow on video of a project or two or whatever I'm doing. Don't know. There may not be anything. Anyway, sorry about the kidding video, folks. I know you probably didn't appreciate that, but... Yay, it was special to us, so I thought I'd post what we did. But if you don't know about the kidding video, go check it out. It is a marvelous story. Anyway, see you on MeWe. That's right, MeWe. Oh, by the way, Twitter. Mac T Ford Edge on Twitter. Yep, starting to build followers on there. I post really, you know, everyday stuff that I'm doing with my edges. So check that out too. Anyway, I'm rambling and I don't want to go any further because, hey, it's New Year's. And I have to go celebrate a little bit. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production. <laughs>